Welcome to this video. This video is going to be a little bit before its time, meaning that what I'm going to show you in this video is it's not quite there yet, but when it is there, you'll have this video to take you to that next level of SEO content writing. Before we get into this, I want to talk a little bit about the history of ChatGPT for SEO content creation. So the first thing we had was ChatGPT3, which was when it first came out. And it was really, really good, but there was a certain problem with it. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't writing that next level content, that kind of content that you want to actually read on a website, okay? The content was okay for SEO, but it wasn't really that well written. And then we got ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, which not only writes a lot more quickly, but the content was a little bit better. However, it still lacked a little bit of je ne sais, je ne sais quoi, a little bit of... Mm, a little bit of humanity, I guess, is what was missing. Now, on the other hand, we have chat GPT-4. So there is a cap and it is incredibly slow. However, if you use this correctly, you can still write some amazing content. And when the cap's removed and when you can write an entire article with one click, this will be an absolute game changer. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find an article topic to write about. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to be using the website that I work for, which is Two Men. So this is the Google search console of Two Men Italia or Two Men dot it. And everything here you can see on this screen, except one article was written with uh, ChatGPT 3.5 or ChatGPT 3. So if, the, if your question is, does... AI content rank on Google, then this search console very clearly shows that it does. I have one article that was written by ChatGPT4, and it's about um, uh, office outfits for men, and it's not currently appearing on Google. Oh, no, it is appearing on Google. Okay, so office outfits for men. I wrote this article three days ago. This is a really, really big keyword. It has up to 10,000 searches a month. Let's just see, I know I'm not using an um, VPN or anything. I just want to see where, we're, where we are basically on Italian Google right now. And we're on the third page, which is pretty good for a very, very new article. You can see it was only indexed by Google two days ago. This article is far superior to 3.5 in my opinion, and I'm super, super impressed with chat GPT-4. In my original video about ChatGPT4, I did talk about how it's too slow to consistently write a lot of content. However, I still wanted to make this video because once that's not the case, it's gonna be absolutely insane. So what I personally like to do is I like to get my collections like this, and I like to get my blogs. This will make sense in a second, guys. Just follow my process. Trust me, this will make sense in a second. I have talked about this process before, but the reason I'm doing it again is just because of ChatGPT4. It's, it does this process much better, and I really wanted to share this with you guys. So what you can do is you can post your sitemap into a Google Sheet like this, and then what you want to do is you want to filter Z to A, and then you want to scroll down to where it says lock, and then you want to grab all of your blog posts. There are other ways to do this. This is just the way that I personally do it. And then you can do control F and then you can remove the word lock like that. And then you just want to put a slash here and do the same thing. Replace all. Okay, these are now hyperlinks, but I actually, I want my collections as well. And I'll, I'll tell you why that is. It's because I want the output of um, ChatGPT4. I want it to be really specific to my website, to my niche. Okay, and if you don't do it like this, it won't be super specific, okay? So it's much better to make sure that you have all of the important pages that you um, want to talk about uh, inside this list, okay? So that should be that. Let's sort this by Z to A. Okay, and then we'll remove these locks here. I'm showing you the entire process here, guys, just so that you can uh, familiarize yourselves with this process okay so this might be too many collections too many hyperlinks so i'm gonna split it probably let's say let's say 150 lines that'll do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to chat gpt4 and i'm gonna say 
here is a list of my website pages. Can you give me some ideas for some more blog posts that will help me rank on Google? So another really cool thing about ChatGPT4 is that it just has kind of a much better understanding of uh, what you want it to do. Okay. Oh, it's faster. It's actually faster. That's perfect. Okay, so let's see what it comes out with. The art of layering, the evolution of Italian menswear, the top Italian accessory brands for the modern gentleman. <coughs> How to choose the perfect men's leather jacket, the history and craftsmanship of Italian shoes, a guide to men's designer scarves. So what it's doing is it's looking at what I have now and it's basically telling me A, what I'm missing and B, potentially just random things that would fit into my niche. Okay, so when I did this, yeah, th this is a really good exercise to find some new articles to write about. But once you find one, what I want you to do is I want you to do the exact same process, but with this prompt here. I will leave the prompt in the description. Personally, I would recommend doing it inside the same chat just so that the context is still there. So the prompt here is going to be write this article. So one of the suggestions when I did this yesterday was the legacy of Neapolitan tailoring and its effect on Italian cinema, okay? And I really liked this idea for a couple of reasons. Number one, I love Italian cinema. I love Neapolitan cinema. Number two, I know, for example, that uh, The Great Beauty by Paolo Sorrentino. So The Great Beauty. By the way, guys, incredible film. Highly recommend this film. But I happen to know that every single suit in this film was made by one of the brands that we sell. So the article for me was a no-brainer, okay? We sell Cesare Attalini. Sorrentino used Cesare Attalini in the film. It just seemed really obvious to me. And this is giving my own spin, my own knowledge, my own passion for the subject into the blog post. That is such an important part of writing a good blog post. You can't just expect ChatGPT to do that for you. You need to give the passion. You need to give the knowledge, the, the feeling for what you're writing about. And that's what I did here. We writes this article, The Legacy of Neapolitan Tailoring, A Cinematic Journey. Please mention The Great Beauty by Paolo Sorrentino and mention that the tailor for all of its outfits in that film was Cesare Attolini. Here are the, in, this is the beautiful, most important part of this process. This is the part that will change the way that you write content as soon as this is available in the playground or just in ChatGPT where it doesn't mess up. They might have already changed it because there has been an update. So when I press enter, there is a chance it's going to write the entire article without stopping. Okay, so I want you to, uh, I want you to try to... Here are the eternal links I want you to try to use when you mention brands. You can mention Kitan, Cesare Attolini, Boss, and more. So all of these are obviously brands that we sell. Please use markdown formatting to include titles, lists, and these internal links using keyword-rich anchor text. And I've got all my blogs and all my important collections. Let's hit enter and let's see the content that it comes out with. So the H1, the legacy of Neapolitan tailoring, a cinematic journey. Okay, so I'm probably going to pause this, um, but I, what, what I want to say is that the actual content produced is significantly better. The writing is better, the style is better, the prose is better, and if you notice, I didn't actually give it any instructions on how to write. And then this is the super special thing that it does, okay? It automatically internally links. I know I've talked about this on my channel before. But I really, that video only got like 15,000 views and I feel like the whole world needs to know about this process because this is going to literally save people so much time. So one thing it does do, which I don't like, is it uses the same internal link more than once. You can tell it not to do that, okay? And look at this as well. This is super, this, this is insane, okay? Let me explain why this is so insane. Look at this sentence here. When it comes to Italian style, there is no shortage of exquisite brands that embody the essence of Neapolitan tailoring. Brands like Kitam, Cesare Attolini, Boss is actually a German brand, but they do have Italian style suits, so I, I'm probably not going to change that. And Sartorio Napoli, okay? I did not say in my prompt 
to use to even talk about Sartorio Napoli. But Chat GPT4, they know that Sartorio Napoli is a Neapolitan ta tailoring brand, and they have therefore, or it has therefore, contextually included it without me telling it to do that. If that's not insane, I don't know what is. You can see here, all of these are perfect. <laughs> this is actually perfect. So this is the big improvement from ChatGPT 3.5 for SEO content into ChatGPT 4. Not only is it um, getting a lot faster, but the, the internal links and the context of the article and also just the way that the article is written, it just deals with everything so much better. However, there is still the problem where it stops, okay? And we're going to try something. I'm going to say continue from exactly where you left off. So this is one of the big minus points, or it was yesterday, with ChatGPT4. It was messing up continuously. However, it seems to have actually managed to do it this time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fixed. So... It's working. We can do this already. So my, my point at the beginning of the video that it's not there yet. Guys, it's already there. Chat GPT4 is quicker. Chat GPT4 writes a lot better content. And now you can continue when it stops writing. And I cannot believe they've just mentioned Santoni and Premiata together. That's That shows a real understanding of what it's writing about because they are both predominantly sneaker brands. They're both predominantly Italian sneaker brands. Um, this is completely nuts. <clears throat> this is going to save you millions of time, so much time, a metric ton of time, as I said in one of my recent videos. And I just wrote an entire article without trying in less than 12 minutes. And that includes all of the explanation that I gave you guys. And then I just want to see one more thing. I want to see how many words this article actually is. Because if it's more than a thousand, then content writers are going to lose their jobs, basically. I'm sorry if you're a content writer. But you are probably going to lose your job very soon. Unless you uh, adapt and you start using this. So let's have a quick look. Tools, word count, 614. Okay, so it's not quite there yet. I would probably add a bit more detail. However... That's insane. Like, honestly, that's completely crazy. And I'm going to do something for the first time on this channel. I'm going to go to a AI, uh, AI content detector. I'm going to use um, the one that I normally use, which is this one. Again, I don't really care about this, but if you've got an AdSense website, then I've heard recently that it's quite hard to get ChatGPT content accepted into AdSense. So I do want to talk about that a little bit more on my channel. You can see here that, yeah, it, it's still fairly obviously written by AI, it's saying, okay? So whether that's a problem for you personally or not, that's up to you. For me, it's not personally a problem, but I understand why people with AdSense websites will see that as a problem. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. ChatGPT4 is completely insane, and now that it's faster and it understands contextual internal links a lot better... I'm going to keep playing with this, guys. Let me know if you want to see more content on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.